Hey guys, I almost never come on here and speak. I normally do a voiceover, but today I'm looking cute. I'm about to film something as well as film this, and I thought that I would come on and show my face and just tell you guys what I'm about to do. I'm sorry if I'm in my robe. I took a shower, I did my makeup, and so I'm still in my robe. Forgive me. So I saw this really cute recipe on another creator's channel who's also vegan. He's an English vegan creator. I'm going to link his video or his channel down below. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> this is my channel, watch me. <laughs> so anyways, he used dates, peanut butter, and raspberries to make like a snack. And I thought that was so cute and I wanted to taste the flavor combination together on my palette. So uh, that's what I'm about to do and I'm so excited to try this and to eat this because it looked so good. So let's do that right now. Basically he pitted the dates and then he put peanut butter in the center and then he added a raspberry on top. So because I'm having quite a bit of fruit today, I'm just going to use four dates for this little recipe try. I'm gonna wash my dates. I like to wash fruit before I eat it because you just never know what could possibly be on that fruit. And I'm just going to open up my dates like so. I'm gonna grab the seeds. I'm just gonna do that for the rest of them. And these dates are really juicy and sweet and chewy and are filled with lots of fiber. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Now that we have the pitted dates, he basically just added some peanut butter in the middle of the dates, just like so. That looks good already. Oh my gosh, so much protein here. That looks so nice. I can't remember his name, but he's really cute. He's got blonde hair. Maybe some of you guys already watch him. He's cute, he's a cute guy. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe off my plate because I like, I like a good presentation. I like when things are presented well. I like pretty, I like beauty. There's a standard that needs to be maintained. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get me? Okay, so that's done. And then he just added some raspberries on top and I thought, oh my gosh, if that's not the cutest thing I've ever seen, what is? And then he just added that on there. Boom, okay, I'm gonna eat this one. How cute is that? So Gorgina, oh my god. So Gorgina, like what is cuter than that? That looks delicious and nutritious and protein packed and I love that. So I'm gonna wait until my cream of wheat is finished cooking, then I'm gonna add some more fruit to this plate and then we're going to have a delicious breakfast. Okay, so I do have a history with cream of wheat. My aunt, Carol, used to make us cream of wheat a lot growing up, especially when we stayed with her. We used to get the pink one, which was the strawberry one, the chocolate one. There was a lot of different flavors. There was a whole flavor range that we used to get. I think there was also a banana flavored uh, cream of wheat. And whenever I feel um, nostalgic, or I just want something from my childhood, I look to things that made me feel good back then. For instance, sometimes I just make ackee and hearts of palm when I feel like I'm missing home or fry up some plantains because I grew up eating a lot of plantains. Mango is another like nostalgic fruit that makes me feel good and links me back to home because I grew up with a mango tree in my front yard and just mango trees surrounding my neighborhood. So mango was a very important fruit for me growing up. Even coming from school, there was lots of mango trees that we used to climb and pick down by the campus. So, mm, I think this needs a little bit more sugar. That's why I picked up the cream of wheat. I'm also gonna add a little bit of vanilla to this. A little bit. And I think I'm gonna add nutmeg and cinnamon to this as well. Cause I love me some nutmeg. It's one of my favorite like breakfast spices. I love nutmeg more than cinnamon, but why not? We have our dates and peanut butter and raspberries, and then we got, I'm going to pour out our cream of wheat. And 
and so this is what we have for breakfast some cream of wheat with bananas and chocolate and raspberries with a little garnish of coconut flakes and chia seeds and then we got or pb and dates with raspberries and some beautiful papaya oh my gosh it looks so good i can't wait to try this on my last video i forgot to do the taste test so i'm not going to do that this time i'm definitely going to give you guys the reactions i was thinking to sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg over the dates because why not that looks good i'm going to try this snack here this is the dates and raspberry and peanut butter snack oh my gosh look how delicious Ooh. okay let's try this It just saturates your palate with so much flavor. Really good. Recommend that. Breakfast, snack time. Mm. Let's try the papaya. So good. Not too sweet. Not too... What's the opposite of sweet? No, I'm going to go for the cream of wheat. Mm. Can't wait to try this. I'm going to go for the chocolate bite. Delicious. Tastes just like chocolate. So starting off with some potatoes, I'm just going to slice and cube up these potatoes. And we're just going to boil those off, soften them up a bit. And so I mashed the potatoes. In this, I have all the ingredients listed here, and it should have this consistency. So we're starting off with some extra virgin olive oil to that I added some onions and we're just going to cook that off a bit, adding some salt, black pepper, garlic powder and paprika and we're just going to combine that very nicely, adding some sweet peas and this is the filling for or samosas. So we're just going to cook that off nicely and I wanted to portion off some to have a corn variation of this and we're going to do the same to our mashed potatoes we're going to add our sweet pea and we're going to combine that i'm adding cumin ginger powder paprika and dried parsley now this is how i wrapped this i basically just wet all four sides folded over in half like a triangle patted it down fold one half over the middle section and then the other end over that end and then we tied it all in kind of like how an envelope looks and so it should look like this and then this is how i did the triangular version wetting all four corners just the same, folding a third over onto the edge, patting that down, and then folding that over to another third, and then finally um, into the final triangle. This is the corn variation, and this is another way that you could possibly fold this. The same envelope version, just a different technique. You can just hold it in your hands like this, whatever works for you. And I just fried these up in some vegetable oil and they came out looking like this, so nice and crispy and delicious this sauce is a sweet and sour sauce that was in my refrigerator oh my gosh this was such an easy and quick lunch idea and it was so good oh my gosh so good i love samosas my grandmother used to make us samosas so i'm just washing some quinoa because we're going to create an epic 
quinoa salad and your quinoa should look like this you basically just cook it the way you cook rice so I place it in this bowl to heat off just a little bit we're gonna cook off these bite-sized potatoes for a yummy potato salad okay guys so I have all of my stuff ready I've got some veggies over here cucumber orange and yellow peppers and some tomatoes I've got some corn some fried up mushrooms and some fried up tofu and some daya Swiss style vegan cheese watch my how to make sushi video to get the recipe on how to make this crispy tofu and I did the same for the mushroom then we got for quinoa I've got some vegan parm and some uh, pesto back there we got cilantro or potatoes and an avocado as well as we have some lettuce that I've just been soaking in water for a couple of days because it was wilting a bit okay so let's put this together okay guys so I'm adding my veggies here and I'm mixing that in I'm gonna add the Daya vegan cheese and combine that as well just breaking off some cilantro chopping that and also adding that to the bowl and combining that and now I'm just going to kind of like mince up some lettuce and also add that to the bowl and combine it adding some avocado as well to the mixture to the potatoes I added some vegan butter I combined that and then I added this vegan pesto from I believe brand is called and I just mix that in to the dressing for the salad I squeezed lemon added some olive oil some agave nectar some paprika garlic powder ginger powder red chili flakes salt and combine that for or dressing for the salad it should have that kind of consistency this is my favorite homemade salad dressing that I make all the time this is what my salad ended up looking like so far but we are going to amp it up and take it from basic to fantastic I'm just adding this vegan Parmesan cheese just to add some more flavor and drizzle that hot girl super salad dressing on to that and it came out looking like this oh my gosh it was so good so delicious so nutritious oh my gosh so much protein in here oh. and it tasted bomb oh my gosh this is the best salad I've made to date and these potatoes that pesto sauce is to die for like they got everything done right the flavor the tartness oh my gosh it was so good thank you Sergiano and everyone that watched this video to the end thank you for watching